Trifle, son of a bitch. Got her in my house, in my bed. Oh, he don't really fucked up now. Like, I mean, I would say that, but clearly it is what it looks like. <laughs> Baby, who who is this? What's going on? What? She doesn't know who I am? You don't even know who I am? <sighs> wow. And I thought the age of clueless side chicks was over. Most of y'all bold enough these days to know you fucking somebody else's man, but you... You're quite the rare breed, I say. Look, baby, can we do something? No, we can't do anything. But what you can do is you can get your shit and have it all together before the garbage man runs. That's what you can do. How am I supposed to have all of my stuff together by then? It shouldn't take long. Half of it's already been priced and prepped for sale at the Goodwill right now. Maybe I should leave. <laughs> oh no. Please stay, he's gonna need some help. Damn, Savannah was right about you. Look, baby, you don't even have to do this. And who the hell is Savannah? Savannah. Hey, girl. You was right. 
Mm-hmm. But best believe I got that mother. really but it is 8 a.m. on a Saturday and I just moved in. I, I, I did just get another satisfied follower who I just helped bust her cheating boyfriend. So to celebrate I'm relaxing, drinking my coffee, eating my favorite cereal, and watching some TV. Okay so don't you know the answer to are you busy is busy? I'm never too busy for you Neve. What can I do? I'm oh, sorry let me try that again. <sighs> busy? I'm never too busy for you Neve. What can I do? <laughs> I'm glad you asked, but can you turn that down because I cannot hear myself stress. A little more? More. That's much better. I felt my thoughts deafening before my eyes. Okay, enough with the drama. What's going on? Okay, so you know that guy Keyshawn I was dating? Uh, the one with the two kids. Yes. Do you know he has a baby mama? Uh, yeah, well, I usually, I mean, when you have kids, it's like a mom and a dad. Yeah. Of course, Savannah. I'm not an idiot. Look, I love you, but it's time I school you on a little black knowledge, okay? <clears throat> so to the rest of the world, a baby mama is the woman who had a man's child. But to the black world, she's the bitch who had a man's child, sticks around for the child support and the occasional dick down. Okay, I mean, I, I see your point. So you're just worried that she's gonna take him from you? Worried? The only thing I'm worried about is getting my Lubu's bloody after I stomp her ass. But I have way too much class and too much money in the bank to give either of them that much attention. Okay, so then what was this whole dissertation about? Oh, so I can't just come over here and tell you about my life anymore? I gotta send you emails and then wait for you to respond via video no, blog? Bank. No, 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 no. I see how it is. Just forget about the little people. Miss Famous Love Guru Savannah Hill, too good for her pre-fame friends. It's fine. I'll catch you on 2020 in 2020. I'll see you at dinner tonight, Neve. No red meat because my insides will curse both of us out. Okay guys, um, regular or low sodium Ritz crackers? What? You got dirt, moron. Just get you guys, just call them appetizers like everybody else. For somebody who's upper class, you sure don't have any. Alright guys, can we just put RuPaul's Drag Race on pause for just a second to finish shopping for this cocktail party tonight? Well, what is this cocktail party for anyway? Right. If you must know, I have some big news to announce tonight. You want a lottery? No. You're pregnant. <laughs> Please, Devin, she needs a man for that one. That's it, you finally found a man. <laughs> Please, you had a better chance with the lottery guest. Okay, you know what, are you two done, Maya and Tony? Sure, we should let us in on the secret, Joan. I will let you guys know everything tonight. For now, um, can you guys just go get stuff for drinks? And, Aaron, no hard liquor or your sister will freak out. Savannah, I know what Nave likes. Good, then I don't have to come with you. You know what, you're right. Especially since I just saw this big booty dude walk down the aisle. 
You know what? I'll meet you guys at checkout. <clears throat> Why is he such a hoe? He's not a hoe. He just, he has commitment issues. And he hides his insecurities behind multiple sexual encounters. Call it what you want, Dr. Phyllis. The boy's a hoe. Okay, whatever you say. So, I have a question for you. Do you ever see any of your followers? Um, some of them, but they usually like to remain anonymous. Oh, so you don't even know who you're helping half the time. No, but I don't think that matters. I mean, as long as I'm helping someone's love life flourish, I mean, that's what's important to me. Yeah, but I find it pretty ironic how you give people advice on love, but you've never been in a relationship in your life. Hell, you ain't even been on a date the first. Thank you, Devin. And on that note, I'm gonna let you ride home with Aaron tonight. Savannah, come on. You know I was just kidding. Aaron's car smells like pizza and strawberry lube. <sighs> Savannah, when are we going to eat? I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a host only works up quite an appetite. Okay, guys, we'll leave to eat once Justin gets here. Who the hell is Justin? Oh, he's um, the photographer for my blog, and he helps me with like all the marketing stuff, too. Well, I don't wait for people that run on CP time, so I'm going to get a glass of wine. Stop. No, not until Justin gets here. Did you just slap my hand? Girl, don't let this $200 buff and moisturized manicure fool you. I will slap you. Neve, can you just behave or try to behave for one night? Savannah, I'm trying, but I'm hot, I'm hungry, and I'm sober. That's a very uncomfortable combination. At least let me eliminate one of the struggles. Hey, Justin! Hey, Savannah. Here are the promo prints for next week's promo. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I will look at these later. Awesome. I really appreciate you. Your photography has helped me increase my fan base by like a million. I, I don't know what I'd do without you. I mean, probably still using your dirty mirror cell phone selfies, but I digress. <laughs> oh, by the way, this came for you today. And you're just now giving it to me? Well, I'm your photographer, not your assistant. Sorry. <laughs> Everybody, this is Justin. Justin, this is Neve, Aaron, and Devin. Hi, hello, hello. Yeah. How you doing? Here, come on. Chill. Oh, don't mind if I do. Now what? I'll get it. Good. While you do that, I'll get a glass of wine. Jonathan, what are you doing here? Well, it has come to my attention that you're having a party. It's not a party, it's just a few friends, and we're about to go to dinner. Well, whatever you call it, make sure you keep it down down here. The missus and I are trying to get a good night's sleep. We have a homeowner's association meeting in the morning. I expect that you'll be in attendance. I wouldn't dream of missing you. Savannah, who's at the door? Oh, Mr. Messy. It is pronounced Messiah. But it's spelled like messy, as in that messy outfit, that messy house, that messy ass attitude. I beg your pardon. Pardon granted. Neve, was that necessary? I have to live next to that guy. Well, I don't, so come on. Don't you have something to share with us? Yes, I do have some news to share with you. Well, what is it? This Smith is killing us already. Okay. As you guys know, my blog, Seventh in Love, has become a huge hit online. Mm -hmm. And I was just contracted to have my very own cable network talk show. <gasps> oh, oh my geez. god! Yes. 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 Congrats, Sam. So proud of you. Thank you. You can do it. You deserve this. Thank you. I have my first meeting on Monday and I'm so nervous. I'm back. <clears throat> and I'll be there, right? Yes, Justin. I feel like a big part of this was because of how amazing your photography work is. Thank you. Why well, I say this calls for a toast. To seventh in love. To seventh in love. Love is something that everyone should experience. Love is a beautiful thing, and there's truly nothing like it. Love is the strongest of emotions because, on its own, it contains the entire spectrum of human emotion. Love has the power to make you happy, make you sad, 
make you angry, make you jealous, make you feel suicidal or homicidal, but most of all, love makes you feel whole. No matter how many people deny it, they need love in their lives, whether it's from family, friends, or that special someone. Love makes us all complete. Kevin. Kevin West. I'm... I know it's late. Very, very sorry about that. But my car actually broke down a few feet away from here, and I really, really need to use your phone. I mean, I use my own, but my phone is dead. Sure. Um, just wait. Hello? Yeah, I'm at a house right now. Listen, don't worry about it. I got this, man. Listen, listen I, I, but I can't talk right now. I told him my phone was dead. Yo, you a fool, bro. Yo, get the hell off my line, man. Okay. Uh, hello? Yeah. You know, you're, you're a really good person. And you're beautiful, too. Don't you have a phone call to make, Mr. West? Capture my soul. 